Yo, what's going on, guys? Jedi Yamagoo here. I'm sorry for the shitty audio quality at the moment. I have my fan blasting. It is very hot. Uh, so, I haven't uploaded in, like, f almost a week now. Something like that. I really apologize. I just wanted to say really quickly, I uh, was out of the state for, like, uh, you know, three days. I just got back. It's been really busy with packing, all this other stuff. So, I'm really sorry about that, but... Uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy the video up ahead, and see you, see, see you next, next time, I guess? <laughs> enjoy! Yo, what's going on, guys? Jedi Yumiko here, and today we're here with Corpse Party. Now, this game, I know nothing about it. I've only heard about it from seeing it, uh, seeing that it had an anime, and that's really about it. <laughs> I've, I know literally absolutely jack all about this game uh it is it's very small on my on my computer it's a very small like i can't make the screen any bigger as far as i can tell um so yeah it's pretty interesting but without further ado let's just get right into this see what it's all about okay i'm gonna move my mouse out of the way because i don't actually think i need it sure Sachide is my pride and joy. She'd do anything for me. Don't think she ever recognized any something. But I still love her with all my heart. Running down the stairs, the kindly teacher lost her footing. She tumbled down and she fell. And she died. This took place in a school called Heavenly Host Elementary. And it wasn't long after that the whole place got shut down. It was then bulldozed to the ground and forgotten. But that elementary school once stood right here on the site of our own Kisaragi Academy. Some say that the teacher still has no idea she's dead, even to this very day. And on rainy evenings like this, after classes have come to an end, some claim she roams these darkened hallways, still believing them to be her own. In fact, it's almost time for her to make her, mo her rounds, and just after 7 o'clock, that's when she appears always accompanied by a sudden blackout that leaves the entire building dark as night. Knock, knock. You'll hear from the blackness, followed by the sound of the classroom door slowly sliding open. As her pale white face cuts through the stillness, her soft voice always echoes the same question. Is anyone still here? And then, Yarg. <laughs> uh, oog. It's just thunder, Mokita. <laughs> I gotta say, that was a pretty impressive reaction. <laughs> Come on, stop laughing. It was just bad timing. That's all. You always have the rest. You always have the best reactions. I just love telling stories to you, Mochida. It's so rewarding. Ugh. Who ever heard of a class representative with such a sadistic streak? Who ever heard of a boy who can hit a note like that when he screams? Eek, save me! 
Don't be an asshole, Yoshiki. Okay, okay, let's not have any fighting. If we don't hurry and get back to, cl to cleaning this place up, it'll be 7 o'clock till we do. And you wouldn't want to be stuck here during the appointed time, now would you? Too late. My, it really is 7 already, and the rain doesn't show any signs of stopping. Didn't you, want to, didn't you bring an umbrella, Shig? If not, you're welcome to use mine. Really? Thank you. That'd be lovely. What? A blackout, huh? No, it can't be. Isn't it a little late for anybody else to be here? Are they... gone? Uh, hey, Satoshi. Aren't you gonna go see? What? Me? Why? Well, I can't do it. I'm paralyzed here. Can't move my legs one inch. I'm scared too, you know. Oh, can I move? Oh, okay, I see. Ah! Is anyone still here? Time to go home, children. Gotcha! I just wanted to join in on all the fun you guys seem to be having. How's the cleanup coming along? Miss Yui. <laughs> Did I scare you? You were telling that old ghost story, right? Your timing was way too good, Miss Yui. Miss Shishi, though, you've heard the story too? <laughs> if it's that old if it's that old tale about Heavenly Yoho's elementary school, then of course I have. After all, it wasn't too long ago that I was a student here myself. Uh, oh yeah, I hadn't thought about that. When I came to, to the Seven Wonders of Kisaragi High, I'm pretty well versed when it comes. They've been around for a long time now. Though, I can't take credit for the blackout. That was just good fortune. Anyway, Mochida. Y yes I ran into a rather adorable individual in the hallway who's come to see you. Come on in. H Hello, everybody. Yuka, what are you doing here? Oh my god. It's a lolly. Okay. I've done high voices before, but this is a little bit mush. Big brother! Seems Mochita forgot his umbrella this morning, so I, so little Yuki here has come all this way to deliver it. Oh, yeah. I guess I did. Sorry about that, Yuka. Thanks. <laughs> Is she from the junior high? Nice to meet you. My brother's always like this. Always really kind, I mean. Aww. I had no idea you had such a cute little sister, Satoshi. <laughs> Sorry, Yuka. It seems like we're still going to be a little while yet. Really? Well, that's okay. I'll help too. Y you will? Okay, thanks. All right. Looks like we've got two extra pairs of hands to now. Yeah. So let's get so let's show this mess who's boss. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Guess you're roping me into this too, huh? Okay, everyone. Good. Nice work. I hope you all enjoy your vacation, but try to actually do something with it, okay? Don't just sleep in. Today's Red Bean Cafe was the talk of the culture festival, so do give yourself a hand. You guys worked really hard, and it really paid off. And you even resisted the urge to, b to bail on cleaning. This old TA couldn't be more proud of you all. 
So, have some coffee milk. I brought enough for everyone. You got these from the lunchroom, didn't you? They're kinda lukewarm. My stomach's so gurgly, I don't think milk would set me would sit with me well right now. <laughs> these are from your fight with that vending machine, I'll bet. You must have pulled that change lever a good ten times before you finally gave up. Crap, you saw that, huh? Miss Yui, thank you. Thank you, thanks. You're very welcome. Thanks, Teach. I'm having difficulty remember every remembering everyone's names. Suzumoto, I really liked your speech. Best of luck to your new school. I know you'll do just fine. Sniffle. Thanks. Uh, I have no idea who any of these people are. <laughs> I think this is the guy, isn't it? Won't be the same here with, around here without you, Suzume. I know you, Suzumoto. You'll make new friends in no time flat, I'm sure of it. And it's not like you're moving that far away. Come, come winter break, we'll all make sure to come visit. Absolutely. Wait, you mean I can go too? Thank you. All of you. Hey brother, is that girl transferring to a new school or something? Yeah, today's culture festival was her last day. Aw, that's so sad. Yeah, it is. Nothing we can do about it. Nothing we can do about it though, unfortunately. Uh, who is this? <laughs> who is this? Hey, Miss Chichido, before we go... Isn't it that twin-tailed girl? Hmm? Yeah, it is. Since we're losing one of our own, do you mind if we try something? It's called Sachiko Ever After. Who's Sachiko? And what's with the paper doll? Is this, an, is this another one of your occult things? <laughs> kind of. This is... Well, it's a charm that I found on the internet. If we do it right, then all of us will be together forever. Or we'll always be friends, anyway. And that's the gist of it. Ooh, it's like a charm. Yep, that's all she's in Shinozaka had to say. Suzumoto is totally bonkers for that kind of stuff. Guess it can't hurt. Is everybody okay with this? Yeah, sure. I'm fine with it. Yay, charm! I think I gave I think I gave my own guy a fucking girl voice, okay. <laughs> sure, whatever. Monoshige, you too? Ah, yeah. Looks like the A's have it. Looks like the I's have it. The floor is yours, Shinazaki. Great! Okay, everybody. Gather in a circle around like this. Gather in a circle around this paper Sachiko doll. And in your head, repeat the words, Sachiko, we beg of you. Uh, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, nine times. Don't worry if you flub it a little. Just make sure you don't stop partway through. You have to say it one time for every person present. No more, no less, or the charm will fail. Ready? Begin! Everybody said it nine times? Yep. Exactly nine. Yeah, yeah. Let's get on with it. If we don't, I'm afraid I'll wind up saying it again. Okay, now, now, everybody, reach toward the paper doll. And grab hold of it anywhere you can. Like this? Exactly. Now, hold on really tight. Dig your nails into it if you have to. Just don't let go. We're gonna pull on it until it rips apart into nine pieces, okay? On the count of three, one, two, pull! Nicely done, everyone. Now, 
Just make sure you keep that scrap of paper safe. Slide it into your student ID holder or your wallet. Basically, anywhere it won't get lost. Hmm? As long as you, as long as we have a little piece of Sachiko with us, we'll always be connected with one, each other, with one another as friends. That's the purpose of this charm. Wow, that's actually pretty cool. Uh... Who am I talking about? Pretty cool. Try super cool. I'll have to. I'll have to try extra hard not to lose my piece. Thank you, Shinozaki. I'll treasure this. No problem. Consider it our promise that we'll all definitely hang out together again. Definitely. Well, I hate to say it, but I think it's about time that we all get packed and start heading home. Yes, ma'am. Uh oh. What the hell? This is like, holy crap, big. Big brother, I'm scared. Yuga, take my hand. Everyone, stay calm. Get under the desks until it passes. Hurry! Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh! Ah, the floor! Everybody, hang on to something if you can. Damn it, I can't see a thing. Satoshi! Ya bit. I can't move it, so I guess it's just, just I can move it, so I guess it's just a sprain. Huh? W where? I'm not at home, am I? It can't be. It's so dark, I can barely see a thing. Is this a school? What's going on? What the hell is this place? Okay. <gasps> is that Seiko? Seiko! Seiko! This isn't good. Alright, I guess we gotta find a way over to her. Oh, fuck. Ow! Ugh, that really hurt. My ankle's in pretty bad shape. Say- Thank goodness. She's still breathing. Seiko, come on, Seiko! Wake up! Ugh. Don't you know, don't you what's up me? I thought you were dead. Mm-hmm. Uh, where? Where are we? What's going on? That's what I'd like to know. These windows are sealed up tight. And it's pitch black out there. I can't make heads or tails of what I'm seeing. What the hell is going on? Well, 
This is clearly a school building. Don't the desks seem unusually small to you? Like an elementary school. An elementary school? It can't be, can it? What is it? The printout on the wall. It says Heavenly Host Elementary. Notice to all fac faculty and students. A heavenly Host? Isn't that the elementary school that pre preceded Kisura Kisaragi Academy? The one that was shut down and demolished? Oh gosh, what's happening? Where the hell are we? And where are our friends? And Miss you. <sighs> Calm down, Seiko. Don't get so worked up. Sorry. Seiko and I just stood there in silence, hand in hand. It was the first time in my life that I'd been shaking so hard I could hear my teeth shatter. I'd become completely lightheaded and couldn't even think straight much less wrap my brain around what was happening to us. I kept telling myself, it's all a dream, some horrible nightmare, but no matter how hard I wished it, I just couldn't wake up. And the silence was the worst part of it all. I couldn't take it anymore. I had to say something, anything. Hey, I don't have the slightest idea what's going on. But how about we try finding a way out of here? Oh, hey, Al. We can't just stand here quaking in terror. We need to do something, you know? Besides, I don't want to be in this creepy place any longer than I have to. But the windows are all shielded shut. And I don't know. And I don't just mean they're stuck or locked. It's like they're decorations on the wall. I don't think any of them, any of them even can open. Is it even possible to leave this building? I'm not sure, but there might be an entrance way or an emergency exit or something. Some means of getting outside. You're right. It's a lot better than just standing around. I feel like I'm going to go all loony in here if we keep this up. Okay then. First step is to leave this room. We've got to keep our spirits up. After all, it's probably not just the two of us in here. The others have to be around somewhere, right? Yeah, and if we can reunite with them, we'll find a way out of here, together. That's the spirit. I had no reason to believe any of what I just said. I was probably delirious, to be honest. But I knew that if I didn't act, I'd start to go mad. I'd start to scream. I'd be inconsolable. So in desperation, I put on the strongest front I could manage. Character Introductions Direct the eye towards any character and press the action key to learn more about him or her. When you're done, exit through the door on the southeast side of the room to resume play. Miss Yui Shishido, age 23. An 11th grade English teacher at Kisaragi Academy Senior High School. Just started this semester after passing her teaching exam and is eager to make an impression. Though not a perfect instructor by any means, her unjaded zeal and enthusiasm are infectious, and her students seem generally responsive to her methods. Also serves as a teacher's assistant during homeroom for class 2-9, and really seems to have connected with the students there. When she's in charge, all eyes are on her. Always. Yokishiki, Yoshiki Kishinuma Age 17, a student in Kisaragi Academy Senior High, Class 2-9. Often regarded as sarcastic and cynical, but as far as he's concerned, he's just being honest. Although generally not one to participate in events, his fondness for Satoshi and Ayumi means he'll make any exception now. He'll make an exception now and again if either is involved. I'm pretty sure Satoshi's the guy, and Ayumi is the pigtailed girl. 
With intense drama at home, Yoshiki currently works part-time after school to afford rent on a small apartment where he lives alone. Ayumi Shinozaki, age 17. The appointed representative of Kisaragi Academy High, Cl High Class 29, often subjects her classmates to ghost stories and reveals in hearing them scream, and revels in hearing them scream. It's generally believed that she carries candles and other horror goods with her at all times, just in case an opportunity presents itself to use them. In truth, however, Ayumi wears this reputation as a mask to hide her own fear of the unknown, which, rev which rivals even Satoshi's in his intensity. When faced with a truly scary situation, her knees give out and panic sets in. Only her personal pride can break her out of this fear induced state. Yuka Mochida, age 14. She does not look 14, bro. She looks like she's about, I mean, she looks like eight years old. <laughs> what the fuck? Satoshi's little sister. Though she's an eighth grader at Kisaragi Academy Junior High School, she looks and acts much long, much younger. Okay, yeah, that explains it. <laughs> she's 14, but she just looks and acts a shit ton younger. In the Moshida household, Yuka's always been the princess, generally getting her way and thus never really shedding her childlike behavior. Despite this, she yearns to grow up, even attempting to act older or braver than she is, and this often gets her into trouble. Seiko Shinohara, age 16. A free spirit, she often says or does things that take others by surprise, though she's usually easily forgiven due to her genuinely good nature. Her mother disappeared three years ago, leaving her with three younger siblings and a working father. As such, she basically serves as a head of the household. Seiko seems to regard Naomi as a kindred spirit, and the two of them frequently have long conversations about their many dreams for the future. Naomi Nakashima, age 16 a student in Kisaragi Academy Senior High Class 29, and a classmate of Satoshi's since junior high, frequently greets Satoshi with, oh, not you again. Having lost her father a few years back, Naomi and her mother now depend on one another for moral support. Still, she remains optimistic and cheerful. Her home life has given her an interest in nursing, which she's intent on pursuing. She spends her time studying, aiming for acceptance to medical school. Satoshi Mochida Age 17, a student in Kisaragi Academy Senior High, Class 29. Fairly average, but popular, known for being both kind and cowardly in equal measure. Despite his timidness, he's very personable and open, which complements his general sensitivity towards others and makes him a natural leader. The one person ever to challenge that leadership is Naomi, who is, consequently, the only person, person to whom Satoshi regularly defers judgment. And this is Naomi, right? Yeah. Okay. So let's exit, I guess? Yes. Yeah, Come on, Naomi. Let's go. Okay. Alright. Wait a sec. Ink! Another earthquake? No! Is it over? Phew. I've had enough. I've had enough. Let's just get out of this room. What? What's wrong? This hallway looks totally different than it did before. M maybe the earthquake made more of the floor collapse. Y yeah, maybe. Let's just explore then. Suspend. I can't even like turn down the volume or anything. Okay then, well, I guess that's that. <laughs> Let's see. Can I like search any of this stuff? Or there's a yellow fluid congealing inside the rusted bucket. What the heck is this? P? Ew! Don't say that. The gap is relatively narrow here. It seems crossable, but it's a little too wide to risk jumping. So that would just lead back into the classroom, presumably. Uh, what about over here? 
The gap is narrowly... So it's also too risky to jump. Maybe I am supposed to go into this door. Uh, hey, Naomi. Mm hmm. Is something wrong with your leg? Oh, yeah. I was so freaked out I forgot all about it. I think I might have sprained my ankle. Well, that's not good. Will you be okay? I can walk at least. I'm sure it'll heal on its own. Yeah, but you shouldn't push yourself. Here, lean on my shoulder, okay? Okay, thanks. Uh, can I do anything here? No, I really- I can't really do anything, can I? There's a loose board line on the ground here. Take it with you? Yes. Oh. Acquired loose board. So I'll probably be able to lay that down on either end of the hallway. So it probably is just a matter of which end do I want to end up going towards. Uh, let's, I guess let's put it down here. Hey, Naomi! What about that loose board we found? You think it would support our weight? Like a bridge? Hmm, I don't know. It seems kind of beat up, but I guess it is pretty solid. Too risky or try it. I mean, we don't have any other options, so... The loose board has been set in place. Okay, it works. Uh, maybe we can... Oh, I wanted to read that, but okay. Help me. Oh, there's something moving out there. Huh? Did you say something, Seiko? Mm-hmm. It wasn't you? I definitely felt a presence of some kind. The stairs beyond this point are piled with rubble. There's no way through them. Uh, is this upstairs? Like, are we going up the stairs or down the stairs? I wanted to see if we could check out that poster, but I guess not. Let's see. I feel like I should be able to search the desk. Nope. Oh, fucking god, fucking damn. That's actually scared me. <laughs> Ow, what's wrong, Naomi? L look, over there. Aren't those bones? Like, people bones? What? Why? Why is there a dead person here? Wait, let me look at them more closely. Maybe they're not real. They're definitely real. <laughs> they really are somebody's bones. No. Seiko. You too. Ah. You two are new victims, are you not? A g g ghost. Who, who are you? I was brought here against my will, and confined, just like you. Who? Where is here confined? Well, I feel like we know where here is, but I, I, I'm going to ask what confined means. Confined? Do you mean there's no way out? I'm afraid not. This school exists in a reality all on its own. Cut off from the world you know. So why have we been brought here? They brought you. They're constantly bringing new victims into this school. Sinless innocence. One after another, all trapped in here, doomed to live out the rest of their days in this hell. Who are they? This is a cursed, multidimensional nexus. Multiple planes of existence, all piled on top of one another, created by powerful, vengeful spirits. Closed space, or perhaps, closed spaces. You, and we as well, 
are the unlucky victims of their twisted whims. We have all been abducted. Closed spaces? Indeed. And it seems you two are not the only ones to have been brought here. I'm sensing numerous others. What? Does that mean everyone else is here too? Are they? Okay, I wonder. So our friends are in this school too? I don't know the exact number, but I do know that others were pulled into these spaces at the same time as you. They are definitely in this school. Oh my god, this is such good news! Na Naomi, they're here! We're not alone! That means Mochina's here too! I'll bet that makes you feel a lot, but a lot better, right? However, you cannot meet them. They are definitely in this school, but the space they occupy differs from the space we occupy. If you wish to see your friends, you must find some means of entering their space, or bringing them into this space. Even then, escape is nigh impossible, but at least you'll be able to die together. Oh, oh god, is there really no way out of here then? You said we were brought here by vengeful spirits, right? Who are they, and why have they taken us? I don't know. Neither the motives of our captors, nor means of escaping this hell. All I know is that with some efforts, you can at least live out your days together in the same space, and that alone is a fate worth fighting for. Two heads are better than one. Your chances and your opportunities are so much greater when working together. Do whatever you can to find a way out of here. Don't end up like us. Yabe. No. N Naomi, run! We have to get out of here now. Uh, okay. Yabe. Nigro. Let me get the mouse out of the screen. <laughs> Yabe. <sighs> yeah, what the hell was that? A child spirit? It did kind of look... Sl it did kind of glow. I never believed in ghosts before. Is this really happening? There were definitely ghosts in there. First time I've ever seen something like that. So you saw it too, right? Yeah, and we were talking to it. I just... I just don't understand any of this. Except that there's no easy way out of here for us. Like it or not, we're stuck in here. It'll be okay. Let's just, you know, march on with our heads held high or something. Well, yeah, it's kind of the only thing we can do at the moment. Can I? Oh, no. I want to see if I can go. I can't get up there. Is the ghost bitch still in here? No. What the heck is this? Was this here before? I don't know, but it's just a picture, right? I'm going to kill you. Well, that's reassuring. Huh? Was this always... Were there always a candle here? I don't think so, but doesn't it look awfully familiar? Okay, I'll save here. Ah, so those are the save points, then. Alright, well, I think that's a pretty decent space to stop this. I get that this was definitely a shorter episode, but, um, as for an introduction to this game, I'd have to say I'm fairly intrigued so far. 
So, you know, we got ghosts and ghouls, looks like. And we're stuck in a other dimensional <laughs> elementary school. So, I'm wondering if, like, the character we're playing as now is the main character. Or if we're, we're going to be able to play as, like, other characters later on. But, that'll be interesting to find out. So, uh, yeah, that's going to end it off for this, uh, this time. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, that'd be awesome. If you could leave a like on the video. Uh, and if you enjoyed this video or you are interested in any other videos or series on this channel, then I highly recommend that you go check those out and that you hit the subscribe button and turn on post notifications so you can be notified when I upload a new one of those videos. Anyway, that's going to be it for this time, and I'll see you in the next video. Don't rain on me.